I don't know if you need to hear this or not, but you're gorgeous. You're beautiful. I can't stand being apart from you. You're so bubbly and flowing. And it's a little chilly out here, but uh, I threw my shorts on. Oh, and you see, I got my water shoes on. And uh, it's probably like 50 degrees. It's a little cold out here, but I've had good luck fishing sometimes these uh, creeks in the spring, especially this one. And every time I fish this creek, I've caught what would be like a big or almost a giant smallmouth for a creek. And I'm hoping the same thing happens today. I don't fish this creek that often because it's a little pretty good drive from me a few hours away and it's one of those things i'm kind of glad it is but i also wish it was closer but i'm glad it's further away so it's more special when i get here there's one that's a good one Oh, it came off. Wow. Already. Oh, my. Man, I missed that. I thought I set the hook good. These fish are tough to get sometimes. I've had a lot of fish in here come off, especially when they bite like this in this current. It's kind of a... Man, that was a good fish. At least I think he was down in the current. It's really hard to say. Oh wow, oh yeah. Oh, it's not that big, but it feels big. Oh, he smoked it, oh, it's pretty good. Look at the power of this thing. In the current, oh man. Well, oh, he's actually better than I thought. I'll take that all day, any day. Yes, sir. Look at this place. You know why I love this place now. Dude, fish number one, just about a 11 maybe 12 inch small look how big their tails are they can just they got so much power for this current and the current look how strong it's flowing if these fish have no problem just swimming right up it it's crazy all right that was on a little baby boo jig i wanted to try something a little heavier because i thought the current would be strong and i wanted to kind of get in these holes but i'm using a uh, 16 medium extra fast i'm this is my favorite rod for this type but I'm, i may have should have gone a little heavier I did have a bite. Something pulled one of the pinchers off. Thought I had a hit over there. I was just drifting in that current. It's tough in this strong current like this. It can really be a challenge sometimes to get fish and land them. Oh my. This current, every time I cross the creek, the current's way stronger than I thought it was. I was really looking forward to fishing this hole. It's usually right here. It's like a little deep pocket, but it's usually right in front of me, a big deep area. Now it's totally gone. So it's like one thing I did think I knew about this creek's chains. Now I gotta figure out something different, figure out where they're at. These fish don't leave, but they gotta be one getting ready to be one hungry, just one sitting there ready to chomp. Yep, there he is. I was just kind of reeling in slowly. He smoked it. 
another decent sized little guy, but hammered that thing. Absolutely hammered that. This is usually a really good fish, but I, I've seen, I've just seen too many good fish in here, but it may be a day with just some little ones and that's not bad at all. It's probably 11 inch smallmouth. That's awesome. He was off the bank over there. What is that? Little smiley. Now, I cannot tell what these things are when they're hitting. They are. The water's still pretty cold, but they're absolutely slamming this thing. They're getting smaller. Man, they're so pretty though. I love those yellow looking ones. That's awesome. Feels like a good one. Yeah. That's the one I've been looking for. I thought this creek was gonna let me down today. <laughs> Man, there it is. There it is. Stay on there. That's that big end. Oh, what's a big end. Oh my, that is huge. Oh my goodness. Can you believe that? Man. Ah, it happened. Whew. Three pounds, two ounces with the grippers. So that's gonna be two pounds, 14 ounces. So just under three pounds. Man. I knew, I told you this creek was special and it is just, one of those places that can hold just big fish. Well, my other camera died while I was talking, so hopefully I got that on video. Okay, I took care of this fish, kept it in the water. This is an old fish. I'm gonna estimate 19 inches, and that's probably being moderate. Three, that's uh, two pounds and 14 ounces, a three pound smallmouth, pretty much. Things are so special. All right, I got a couple batteries changed. This camera died on me as I was trying to show it. Hopefully it showed up. It's, it's so awesome to get a fish like that. You know, every time I've been to this creek, I've caught a three pounder or had one bigger or so break off. And um, it, it, it took me an hour and a half to get to that. And um, I'm gonna go ahead and take care of this right now. I'm not telling you what creek this is. I can't say it. I have told a couple people I won't say the name. If you know what it is, don't say the name. There's, it's not, the thing is, it's not that this is the only one. This is probably not the only one this good within 50 miles of here, probably 20 miles. There's a bunch of creeks all out throughout Tennessee. And it's, I'll, I'll, I'll take care of this for every YouTuber or anybody that posts a picture. It's not our responsibility to show every place and to tell you where everything is. But what I like to do is encourage people to get out there and get excited and go out there and find their own place. And it makes it so much worthwhile. I share tons of places and some people get onto me for sharing some, some people get onto me for not sharing, but that's okay. We've been out here for a little while. It is kind of cold. It's uh, wind starting to pick up, but I'm going to fish some more cause that was an awesome fish. I hope to get another one. Oh, yep. There's another one. There's another one. Oh. That's another one. It's not as big, but it's a good one. Same spot. These fish will bunch up for sure. That's what smallmouth do, and especially in creeks and streams. They'll find a hole. And there could be a several of them in there. Oh, that's 
still a really good fish. Why he's bigger than I thought. He's actually bigger than I thought. Look at that. Well, I thought I kept set my camera up where I could see it. And I don't even think it was pointing at the fish. This one, look at his mouth ain't near as big. Um, but it's just a really healthy. He's got a couple scratches on him. A couple scars. That's, that's a really good fish. And he's probably 15 inches just really thick 15 16 inch fish he looks familiar I, I wonder if i've caught the same fish before which it could definitely happen that's good look how clear that water is it's so cool to see them swim up like that oh yeah <laughs> that was cool two of them followed it I reeled it across real quick to get to not get hung up on that tree. Two little ones followed it out of there. And one of them took it. I just kind of paused it, let him get it. <laughs> that was cool. All right. There's gonna be another one. I know it in this area. I know. Oh, I saw something. No, I just broke off. Oh my goodness. I don't think it was a giant, but I just broke off. It didn't look like a giant fish, but they're all so strong. And I just set the hook and snap. Oh man, it's getting cold. So I've been out here about two hours now. I kind of changed up a couple lures after I lost my jig and just fishing around the same area. Didn't get any other bites. So I think I'm gonna throw a jig back on there because that current is so swift. And um, I may change up the, I, I don't know. I may do it the exact same way I had it before. I think I got some more of those. Uh, now I'm gonna eat my snack probably. And then we got just a little while back to the truck and um i've already caught some good fish so i'm excited if i get another one i don't know but i'll be ready to get back in there and get the heat on Whew, all right we'll start heading back down oh, i was very disappointed i didn't get a uh fish out of this hole i've seen some giants in this area but the whole thing's changed it's like a tenth of what it size it used to be. Oh, there we go. There's a rock bass. It's been a while. We haven't got any today, actually. That's crazy. Well, this hole does have a fish in it. A rock bass. I fished it earlier and just thought I would get something for sure. At least I did get one, one rock bass. Oh, oh, I had another hit right there. I think it's another rock bass. I'll take them. Come on, come on back. Got it. Oh, oh, I hooked it in the side. Okay. Well, it wasn't a legal catch but I'm sure he was biting at it. Wow, that's a big one. Man, look how pretty that one is. That is one of the most like colored up rock bass. It's like got yellows and everything in there. Very cool. All right, any more in that little hole? Just drag my little jig through there. That's what I was doing, I just let it hit. The rock bass definitely aren't aggressive today and the bass haven't been, they've been a little bit hitting, but I know that it isn't, a, it's, they're hitting a little aggressive, but they're not like really fired up. Oh my, oh, what was that? Oh, I didn't know I had one. I was turning away, freezing over here in the rain, or in the, in the uh, wind, getting ready to go downstream. I got a, man, the current was really strong. I got to cross back over right there. And uh, another rock bass. There was, somehow they were all just bunched up in the same area. That's a fish. That's a fish. Did I get him? Okay, it's a rock bass. 
It's a rock bass. No, there. This is a big hole, and there's like a all that stuff over there. Kept casting over there. Ouch! All of a sudden, the rock bass come alive. I didn't get any of them. All of a sudden, I've got like four now. Oh yes, oh yes, oh yes. Wait, oh it's, it's not, I can't tell how big it is. Oh, he's solid, he's solid. He just hammered and look at him. I'm, look how I'm pulling and I can't, I'm barely moving him. He's just sticks in that current. It turns his body sideways. Oh yeah. If this is the last one, I had a good one to end it on. Good fish. Hold on, hold on. Okay, go that easy. Goodness. <laughs> I thought that was a monster when I first hooked him, which that's what's so fun about fishing in these areas. You just, you don't know what it is. It could be a seven pound catfish or a pound and a half smallmouth, the way they hammer. Awesome fish, dude. These are so cool. They're pretty, really pretty fish. Dude, it's fun to find such healthy fish population in here. I didn't exactly get on top of them and like really catch a ton, but um, it was a good day worth coming out in the cold. Wow, all of a sudden the sun pops out. I don't know, maybe I'll have to fish a little while longer. It's nice to get one of those. It's been cold, now the sun's coming out. Well, my camera died, but I, I made a little cast of kind of little rock bass over there. I threw back over there. I'm like, let me fish a little more. Look at that rock bass. Uh, that's a big old rock bass there. It's a pretty one. Well, thanks for watching that's gonna do it um the sun is starting to pop out but um i'm gonna go ahead and head back i've been out i think a total of around four hours three and a half four hours and that's just a lot of walking and i've always wanted to kayak through here but if i kayak this area with the water running i would be through the whole area i kayaked in 10 minutes and because uh, it's just booking through so that's definitely made a played a factor i think the water being up and flowing so strong it's giving those fish more area to push out and there's a lot of debris like banks like that where there's a lot of brush the fish are oh better just uh the fish are hiding up under there i'm sure and i'm trying to cast right on it and get right in there and that's where i caught that last one right there out of the out of the tree but they get up in there and they uh they'll sit up in there and it's really hard to get them but uh it wasn't a uh, on fire day but a very good day i got that one big one i was hoping for and i got some other just really good fish so I'll take that anytime. So thanks so much for watching.